I'm gonna teach you something in this video that I completely learned by accident, and it's going to help you. If you make bonded expanders, you are gonna be very happy after watching this video. Let's give you a little bit of backstory. Hey, you know I make a lot of these. If you follow me on YouTube, you've seen that I make a lot of bonded expanders. It's a great little appliance, except for one small thing. You go to finish these things at the end of the day, and you got a pumice sum, and pumice gets everywhere. It gets in the screws, it gets in the arch wire tubes. It's just a big pain in the if I was playing that game, would you rather, I would rather clean out my plaster trap than pumice and polish these guys. This is how I figured this out. My, my best friend was using a blazer torch and demonstrating how he flames Urko form uh, night guards. And it comes out really sweet. Um, it actually makes them shinier. Now I already knew this little trick because I've been doing this for years when I make three millimeter mouth guards. You, sh you uh, put a little flame on it and it comes out perfect. No reason, no need to pumice, no need to polish, no need to nothing. Just use a blazer torch. This blazer torch is, is my friend. I use it to solder, I use it to do everything. You can pick it up on my Amazon shop. It's only about 50 bucks. It's worth every penny. Go check it out. The link is in the description below. Let's get in this. Bring a slight little flame in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna very, very, very lightly brush like I'm painting the acrylic. When I flame this, so that's a two, this is a two millimeter disc on there that's shot down over acrylic. Now I just lightly flame it, and you can see it just a little touch. But what it does is this shines this thing up like no tomorrow, it is beautiful. I don't know if you can see this, but it comes out like glass. No more pumicing, no more polishing. Now remember, you don't want to overflame it because you'll actually melt it. But you just want to do enough to just shine it up. It's done. This is so much easier than pumicing and polishing, and it comes out so much nicer. Right before I go to do my flame technique, you've seen this before in my other videos. I bought this on Amazon for $20. It's so worth it. Another thing you can pick up on my link. I just go over it just gently, just to give it a little coat. If I spend more than 30 seconds on this, it's too much. So that's it, and now I'm ready to flame. Hey, at the end of this video, I'm gonna make a, a playlist that's gonna show my best bonded expander video. It's gonna teach you how you do it, everything that you need to know, especially why I make them on a Biostar. It's gonna answer all the questions. It is a very cool appliance. It's got a lot of steps, but it's not too hard to make, and it's pretty expensive, so it's a good money maker.